Hi, this is Relly Girl. Welcome to a new playthrough. This is Leaving Lindau. This is made by East Shade Studios. They are also the studio that has released the game called East Shade, and that just came out last week. I plan to play that game on the channel. And I saw this was set in the same universe, so I wanted to play this game first for the channel before I put out some East Shade. So we're going to go ahead and play this today. And let's hit new game. I set sail today. Still so much to do. Oh, okay, so this is my bedroom. Must have just woken up. So I see a book that seems to be the only thing to interact right with right now, so... Oh, it's a letter! Clara, congratulations on your acceptance into the Guild of Scientific Exploration. You have been appointed Junior Marine Researcher aboard a pioneering expedition into the Northern Seas. We have arranged for your crewmates to collect you at the Port of Lindau. Please ensure you have the following materials prepared prior to your departure. Oh, so I have a lot already. There's a couple I don't. So I need to find a spare ship uniform and the book called Great Voyages. We look forward to learning of your discoveries. All eyes on the horizon. So I have already found standard marine research kit, rucksack for shore exploration, oiled surcoat of waterproof quality, oiled boots, and the book Marine Cartography. Hey. Oh, now look. There's some things to look at now. Okay, what is this? Oh, it's my suitcase. Of course it is. I still need to pack a few more items. Oh, here we go. Here's the uniform. Standard issue guild uniform. I'd better pack this. Alright, so... Oh, now more things. Okay, well let's see what that is. It's Cousin's Painting. I'm going to miss little Cousin Toma. He's so sweet. Oh. I can't go through it, but I can see out into the living room. Boy, this is a pretty house. Alright, is there anything else to interact with here? That's a big seashell. Oh, here we go. Here's a note. There once was a girl who stared at the sea and took notes on fancy anemones. She studied the water and chased down the otters. The girl researched many neat things. One day the girl will set out on her own in a big wooden ship that she calls her home. She'll go to new lands and sleep in the sands while she researches many neat things. Sorry for how terrible this poem is, but I think it suits you. Love, Jacob. Aww. I wish he could come on the expedition with me, but it's not meant to be. Oh, there's something up there. Wonder if I can get up there. Zoom with LT. Oh. Well, that's cool. What a pretty house. This room here must be mom and dad's room. Very pretty. I don't really see anything to interact with right now, so maybe there's nothing to do in here. Oh, I like the tub. What's that? That must be the way up to where that stuff is on the shelf up here that I saw. I just can't get up there. Well then, let's head down here and see if anybody is home. Oh, cool. I get to go down the steps myself. Look, there's a picture. Oh, I wonder if that's Dad. Oh, and you can turn it? Oh, that's cool. I wonder if Dad would be proud of me. Oh, so then Dad is no longer alive. 
This is a pretty house. Oh, look at the view. <gasps> is that the... There's a moon. I might never see this view again. The sun and the moon right there. And it looks like stars. Oh, look over there. Wow, this is really pretty. I love that you can see out like that. <gasps> um, I think that was a little glitch. Don't think that was supposed to happen, but that was kind of cool. Let's see if I can do it again. No, that's really weird. <laughs> oh, well, well, we got a good view of something there. Oh, here we go. A new letter. I'm writing a final time to express my resentment of this decision. Clara is still a child. Why are we letting her choose a path that might destroy both her and our family? Have you really considered the risks of this expedition? Are you even concerned for the safety of your own daughter? Stop her from doing this before it's too late. Concerned, your brother. Oh, so that was from an uncle to my mother. And there's mom. Okay, we'll go talk to her, but I see something here too. Great voyages. Ah, oh, this is the other book I needed. The seas of the north are widely unexplored. Researchers predict these waters are expansive and small expeditions have revealed numerous islands filled with diverse life and communities. Due to the unpredictable and violent nature of these waters, many exploration ships have been lost while attempting to form new contacts and carry out scientific research. I'm going to need this book. Well, I've got that packed. And I didn't like reading about all these vessels being lost. That's not good. So I'll go over here and talk to mom. I wonder if I have everything I need for the tri for the trip yet. This is just so pretty. I want to come back over here again. What's that? The attic pool rod. I can get in the attic. Cool. I just had to see this view one more time. It is so pretty that you can see through this glass. Some games you just can't. That's really cool that you can. Well, I want to go up in the attic then. So let's go up here. And then I need to check out my suitcase and see if I've gotten everything done. Oh, cool. Now we can interact with it. Need. Oh, what's that? Seasick preventer. A mixture of ginger and peppermint. It works well enough. I hope I develop sea legs, but this will have to do in the meantime. <laughs> Oh, seasickness. Is there anything over here? Oh, I wonder if that was Dad's outfit. That's kind of cool. Oh, I got shot up in the air again somehow there. Very cool. That seems to be it. So I'll head back down and go talk to Mother down here in the kitchen. Oh, wait, no. I want to check my suitcase. I forgot. See if I have everything now. Oh, it closed! I guess I have everything. I'll get by only with what I've put in this trunk. Makes me wonder about why I have so much stuff in this room. All packed! Wow, so I'm about ready to leave then. So I'll go down here and talk to Mother in the kitchen. Wow, it's so pretty over here. There's a boat. RSS Turtle. The first of its class, and the first to cross the Naden Sea. Cool. That's a pretty ship. I wonder if mine will look like that. Look at all the food. Oh, and can you see out here? You can. <gasps> Is that the whole town? Any more windows? No. Wow. Oh, cool. That looks like a big castle or something back there. Okay, let's talk to Mother. 
Good morning, dear. I made you this basket of treats to take on your trip. They won't last long, but I hope they remind you of home. Oh, and I remembered how sick you get on those canoes. I can only imagine what you'll be like on your expedition. I know we have bottles of seasickness reliever around here somewhere. Oh, I already found it in the attic. Oh, good. Your father always needed it, too. I don't want you to be sick all over your new friends. Aw, thanks, Mom. She's going back to cooking. Wonder if I can talk to her again about anything else. Agree. Oh, you're finished packing. You have a busy day ahead of you. Go enjoy yourself. I'll meet you at the Lindau docks this afternoon. Okay. Well then, I guess... Oh wait, what's this? <laughs> Just when I thought there was nothing else to look at. Shady and Post, Lindau rebuilds. Mudslide devastates buildings, but not spirits. Just four months into reconstruction, and the town of Lindau shines with the hope of becoming a modern city. After the port town was utterly destroyed in a mudslide, many citizens of Lindau re relocated to Nava, seeking a quick recovery in an established locale. Despite this, some dedicated Lindosians were reluctant to give up on their community and have instead devoted themselves to re-establishing the town of Lindau on drier, safer ground. With a brand new port in operation, trade has resumed and Lindau is well on its way to recovery. Interesting. Oh, look at these flowers. Those look like pansies. Those are definitely petunias. Oh, that's so pretty. Those look like impatience. Okay, we're gonna head out and see what happens. Oh, walk in forest. Visit uncle's farm or visit the tea house. I'm going to go in order, I guess. We'll go walk in the forest. Need to clear my head. Ooh. Oh, isn't this pretty? <gasps> There's the town! I doubt I can go back this way. It's probably going to ask me to go somewhere else if I do, but I want to see. Yes, I just came from there, so I can't go back. Look how pretty that is! Wow. Alright, well, we obviously have to go this way. This is beautiful! Yeah, you can see the stars. That's cool. <gasps> There's something on that tree. J and D. Aww. That's cool. Wow, this is so pretty. Look at the pink trees! Oh, cool. Oh, there's a lake? There's a house or something. Oh, and the moon? Oh my gosh. And butterflies? Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Look at this! Oh, wow. Goodness. This is gorgeous. It's so peaceful. Look how close they are. Oh, What is that? Something there, but I, I want to go to this house first if I can. Doesn't look lived in. Oh my gosh, look at this view. That's so pretty. More butterflies down there. Let's go inside. Is there a bird? There's a bird right here! Oh, no it's not. I thought that was a bird. It wasn't a bird. 
I hear birds, but I don't really see them. Oh well. Well, let's go in this place. Our hideout. Oh, cool. So this was a childhood place to play. Here's that crazy drum we found in the forest. Beware! Do not fall in! We might not be able to save you! Oh, well, that's cool. So they would dig up or bury treasures. That's cool. What's this one say? Danger! Treasure hunters only! Bring your own tools! Gold. That's cute. Huh. Ranya always... Oh, I said that wrong. Ranya was always a pretty good artist. That's neat. Well, this was cool. This would be a great place to play. The Wall of Treasures. Pretty treasures. I see the path going down that way, so I'll head that way in a minute. I just can't get over how pretty that is. But I want to see what this is, too. This is kind of interesting. It almost looks like some kind of a musical thing, maybe? Can you interact? Yes, you can. This has been here for as long as I can remember. How many different songs has it sung? Play chimes. Oh! Okay, so I can hit different- Oh! Oh, that's cool. I can't get out of it though. Am I supposed to keep playing, I guess? How did that song Dad taught me go again? I wasn't listening. I was talking. Let me see if I can still play it. Okay, good. We can play it again. Replay melody. Oh my, how am I supposed to do that? I did, got that one right, I think. Nope. Okay. Uh. <gasps> that was close. Okay, let's try again. Whoops. Of course I screw up. Oh, no. Is it that one? Oh, goodness. Replay again. I didn't even hit that. Okay. Uh, I got it! That's it! What's happening? A memory! This was the shell of just a baby one. Oh, cool. The grown ones were huge, as big as you are, Clara. The entire beach was covered in these critters. It looked like a land. The land itself was moving. Oh. Well, that was neat. Had a memory with mom and dad, I guess, when I was younger. I see something on that stump over there. I wonder if there's anything I should look at down here, closer to the water. I don't even know if I can go down to the water, but I'll find out. Wow, those trees are so cool. Uh, looks like it ends right here, doesn't it? Yep. Holy mackerel. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Oh, I love the water, how it's flowing like the breeze is blowing it. Gorgeous. Okay, let's go back. Yeah, over here. I wanted to see what was on this stump here. 
Those butterflies are so neat. Oh, what is this? What What's happening? Oh, cool. Am I going to think about something? Yeah, I'm going to have another dream or something. <gasps> oh, no. Well, I'm at the bottom of the ocean. This is weird. What is this about? Hopefully this isn't a vision of my ship. That would not be good. Look at the little bubbles. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, I hear something. What the heck am I hearing? Oh! People on a boat, I guess. Maybe the people that were on this boat? Oh! Oh, wow. Well. Okay, that was a little strange. I don't know if that was maybe just a dream. Maybe I fell asleep here staring up at the sky and had a dream. I'm probably anxious about leaving, so that could very well be what it was. Can I continue this way? What is this? Lindau, that way, Nava, the other. Oh, okay. So I can leave from here. So let's go see Uncle's farm then. Change isn't always easy. Oh, wow. This is so pretty. Look at these flowers. And there's a waterfall over there. Wow. I like Uncle's farm. I wonder where Uncle is. Is he here? He can walk through the plants. Okay. I guess I need to find Uncle, so... What is that? There's something on the path right here. What is that? A little doll? Oh, okay. There's some little toys there. So it must be that little boy that drew me the picture. Toma, was it? That must be my cousin's toys. All right, let's go in here and see. Uncle, are you home? No. Nobody's here. This is really cute. A botanist's guide to East Shade. Crassula natanis, commonly known as Bloomsack, is native to the Lindau region of East Shade. The blossoms of the Bloomsack are filled with a mixture of air, viscous sap, and seeds. Upon reaching full size, blossoms fall to the ground, splitting the encasement and dispersing seeds. If harvested before fully ripened, a blossom will harden into a hollow sphere, allowing for use as a flotation advice or device. Wow! I wish I could grab one that might come in handy. That's what those big things are. I thought it was cotton or something. What is this? I've never met anyone who likes bloom sack tea more than uncle so pretty. Brother, I understand your concerns and do not assume that I don't share them. However, I cannot summon any sympathy for your behavior towards Clara. Does she really deserve the guilt you put on her just as she reaches the biggest hurdle of her life? The choice is not mine or yours to make, and this decision doesn't affect you alone. Try to consider Clara's happiness for once. 
Think of what she is experiencing right now. You're only losing her proximity for a few years. Be careful that you don't also lose her love and trust. Your sister. So that was mother wrote that back. Oh. Oh! Snooping around my house, huh? You, Connor? Clara, I wasn't expecting you so early. You haven't found anything interesting, I hope. You and Mother have been talking about me. We have. The idea of you leaving us hasn't been easy for me to understand. And the fact that it's such a dangerous journey only makes it more confusing for me. Haven't you ever wanted to explore the world, Uncle? Of course not. I have my place here, and there's plenty to do. Why would I sacrifice my safety for something completely unknown? There's more to life than following routines. Yes, there are unfortunate accidents, too. Sailing about in the northern seas of all places. Have you even considered that you may not survive this? The Academy has prepared me for this journey, Uncle. You have no idea what this ex expedition will hold. You've read your books at your Academy. Perhaps you've heard some tales, but you don't know what you're doing. Just as your father didn't know what he was doing until it was too late. And now look where he is, at the bottom of the sea. And that's what he deserves for his recklessness. <gasps> that's not nice. I'm sorry, Clara. That was uncalled for. You know I loved him dearly. My father died living his dream. Of course. I only worry that this will be the last time I'll see you. I wish I could convince you that life here is just as exciting as anywhere else. That there's really nothing so great about the rest of the world. But I see that you know your desires. It's only three years. Perhaps the longest three years of my life, Clara. Send word to us when you can. We'll be thinking of you. Oh, Thank you, Uncle. Well. Well, now I know how Father died. He died on a ship in the ocean. There's Toma. My dad says you're going to crash your boat in the ocean and you'll sink to the bottom. Well, luckily I'm a fantastic swimmer. But you can't swim all the way home from the ocean, right? Oh, you don't need to worry about that, Toma. Has your captain ever crashed in the ocean? No, not that I've heard of. But it could happen. Look at my boats, crashed in a storm, and all the passengers fell overboard. Now they're lost at sea. Well, that's unlucky. Should we rescue them? Yes. There are four passengers missing. We need to find them. <gasps> that's what that little doll is. Okay, well, here's one here, Toma. Oh, and they make a sound when you get close. That's good. Okay, let's keep looking. I don't see anything here. Boy, these flowers sure are pretty. Come on, Toma. Are you coming? Yep. Hurry, they're dying. Oh, jeez. Nothing here. Okay, come on, Toma. Gotta find them. I hear it. Where's it at? Do you see it? It must not be really close yet. All shall perish, he says. Oh, no. Come on, Toma. Maybe it's down this one. I hear it, so it's got to be over here somewhere. There it is. Okay, we found two. Well, there's something to interact with here, but I think I'll wait because I don't want to mess up helping Toma. Can I go through that? No. Okay, we've got two more to find. I doubt it would be down here. Oh wait, I see him. When I was little, I accidentally stepped on a bloom sack sapling. Uncle didn't allow me back on the farm for a long time. <laughs> okay, three Toma. Death surrounds us. <laughs> we need one more. Where would it be? Not there. 
I got stuck on something. <gasps> there it is! <gasps> They're safe, Toma! How long can someone survive? What did it say in the water? I'm not sure. He he changed too quickly. They all survived. Thanks for helping me, Clara. A good captain doesn't leave anyone behind. Don't die, okay? I won't. I promise. See you later. Well, that was fun. He's cute. So I want to go back to that stump over there because there was something to interact with there. So we'll check this out. And that's probably all there is here at Uncle's Farm then. I wish I could take one of these with me. So many summers spent with this old shovel. Goodbye, shovel. I can't say I'll miss you. Ha! <laughs> that's cute. Okay. Well, I guess it's time to say goodbye to Uncle's farm. I wonder if Uncle will say anything else if I talk to him, or if I even can talk to him again. No, I can't. Okay. Well, we're gonna head out. Visit the tea house. Oh, the tea house. I bet that'll be pretty. My last goodbyes. Cool. There are a lot of people here, so I guess I'll go and see if I can talk to any of them. I can't talk to him. Oh, hello. <gasps> I can drink tea. Seisha tea? Great choice. That's my personal favorite. Oh, look. Every turn thing turned bluish. I'm going to try all of it. Bloom sack tea. Here's uncle's favorite. Certainly. Oh wow, so now everything's like purplish. <laughs> Shaddy and brew. I've never seen someone drink tea so ambitiously and I've been working here a while. <laughs> okay, well I'm going to try the other one. Netherleaf tea. A fourth cup? You have a real penchant for tea, eh? Oh wow, look at Everything got so dark, but the windows got so bright. Well, I think that's all there is, but I think I have to drink something because I messed up and got back in it. So, Seisha tea. In my opinion, five cups of anything is too many. You're probably right. I think I'll stop there. Thank you for the tea. Hello. Nope, they don't want to talk. Hi. Tefik. Ah, here's the great explorer, making her farewells to all the lowly folk. Not clever enough to go on their own expeditions. Tefik, I haven't known you to speak so unkindly. Kindness comes to me more slowly today. I truly thought that I would be picked for the expedition. All the tests, all those nights of research, and the endless planning and repairing. I've never worked so hard in my life. How could it all be for nothing? I know I shouldn't dwell on it. You worked hard too, and you deserve this opportunity in the guild, my friend. You can always apply for the next journey. It's true, but I felt so confident about the exam we took. I was sure there was nothing I could do better. Keep training. I know you'll get there. Thanks, Clara. It means a lot to know what you th that you think that. With any luck, I'll be setting off on my own journey by the time you come home. I hope so. Enjoy your journey. I know you're going to do an excellent job. Promotion after promotion, I'm sure. Thank you, Tefik. Look at that lovely bread. Oh, it's Rania. Clara, I can't believe the day is finally here. This is so exciting. The beginning of your new life as a great explorer. Think of it. In just three years, you might have discovered entire new civilizations and imagine the advancements you'll make in science. I'm only a junior researcher. Well, don't let that hold you back. You have to start somewhere after all. But they'll promote you within a week. I'm sure of it. I'll miss your utter confidence in me, Rania. Do you remember that forest we fort we used to play in out in the forest? Yes, all of our stuff is still out there. Yes, I went out there last night. 
I was in the fort thinking about your expedition and all the amazing things you're going to see, and then I heard the most beautiful drumming. It sounded so triumphant. It was like the prelude to your life as an explorer. I'll look forward to telling you all about it. Me too! Come on, let's enjoy your final day. And remember to visit us once you become the greatest discoverer on the seas. Well, that was nice. Look at the pretty teacups. Very cool. Is there anyone standing here? No. Hi. That's a pretty dress. I wonder if these people are coming along. I can't interact with them. It's Jacob. Hi, Clara. I hope I'm not crashing your celebrations. I wanted to be... I wanted to part with you as friends. Last time we met was too sad for such an exciting time in your life. I made this journal for you. I know how quickly you fill them out and thought you could use an extra. Oh, it's beautiful. Remember when we first met? You were doing a study on anemones. I thought I was a lab underclassman. No, you thought I was a lab underclassman and had me take notes for you on your findings. You were so enthusiastic about your work, it even got me interested. I didn't tell you that I wasn't part of the program until you finished your study. I can't believe how you stuck with the study, Jacob. I never doubted you'd achieve your goals with the Academy. You're one of the most determined people I've ever met. I'm glad I had the chance to know you. We made a great team. We did. But now this is your adventure. There's no need to waste it by longing for the future or for other paths you could have taken. It's easy to see that this is your dream. I'm just glad to watch you set off to live it. Take care. Maybe our paths will cross again one day. I hope so, Jacob. That was nice. Oh, there's stairs. We'll go up there in a minute, but let's see if anyone else here will talk with us. Nope. Yuri the Bard, merriest musician in all of Eastshade. Enjoy an evening of song, drink, and merrymaking. I've heard his music is legendary. If only he were coming a week earlier. So I'll go up here. Let's see what is up here. Oh, neat. Pretty. What's this? Jacob's desk. Okay. So he works up here, I guess. What is that? Oh! Oh! How cool! You hit A to push? What do you do to push it? What am I doing? Oh! Well, isn't that neat? I don't know what, what the point is, but it's really cool. Let's see if I can get it spinning pretty good here. Oh wow, look at that. That kind of makes me a little dizzy. <laughs> well, very neat. I have no idea what that is, but that was fun. Okay, well, I guess that is all there is here at the tea house. Maybe I'll have one more cup of tea for the road. Hi, can I have another cup of tea? Let's do some more bloom sack tea. This can't be healthy. <laughs> Am I drinking too much tea? It's funny when the lady at the tea house thinks you're drinking too much tea. All right, off to the docks. It's almost time. Oh, wow. This is pretty. There's rebuilding going on here. Can I go up here at all? This is probably the way I came down here to the docks. I can't go back. Oh, the moon. How cool. Doesn't look like I can go up in there. Everything seems to be blocked. So, we'll head this way. Lindau construction has come a long way in the last few weeks. 
There's someone over here. Who? Sarush? Hi, are you from Nava? Did you go to the academy? Yes! Wow, a lot of my friends moved to Nava after the mudslide. My dad says Lindau's port is safer though, so we're staying. The town is recovering quickly. Yeah, it's not really recovering though. It's just starting over in a different place. Our stinky old, old town was over that hill. But now it's in the river, and anyway, this new town will be way cooler. But still probably not as cool as Nava. Look at them and they're working. I wonder if we can get into that house. We need to find this out. So pretty. Look at that. That's cool. Nope. No interaction to get in it. Oh, I can't even make it to the window to look in. Oh well. Here's someone over here, and it seems to be dressed like Mother, so that could be her. It is! Oh, Clara, it's finally time. When you were little, we thought you'd never leave home. You were so happy to stay in bed all day, drawing, playing with your toys, listening to stories. A few years later, everything changed. We could hardly get you to stay still for a few minutes. All of life was exciting for you. Every speck of dirt and puddle of water was like a universe filled with unexplored wonders. That was when I knew there was no way you were going to be able to stay home and resist the mysteries of the world. And look at you now. You can't believe how proud and excited I am for you. Will you be okay without me, Mother? We'll be just fine, aside from missing you every day. I'm worried about what you'll do without me around to hassle you into good health. Are you worried that I'll die? Clara, whether we live our lives or avoid them, our time still comes. I'm going to miss you and worry about you, but I'm not going to wish that you stayed here because you were scared of a little risk. Thank you for everything, Mother. You deserve it all, Clara. Aww. I wish I could hug you. I can't hug you. Who's that? Not sure. Bye, Mother. That's kind of sad. I want to hug her. Who is this? Uh, Azad. These worthless workers. They can't do anything right. Why would you say what happened to your face? That's not very nice. Who are you? I'm the lead architect here, designer of these marvels and supervisor of their s construction. This entire operation would fa fall apart without me. Who are you supposed to be anyway? I'm set for deployment with the Exploration Guild. Ah, I never would have guessed. Your trunk is so shabby that I'd taken you for a vagabond. Well. It's a shame how far the guild's standards have fallen. Anyhow, I won't be distracted by you any longer. Another moment without my supervision and these imbeciles will butcher my designs. Well, you're very rude. Good grief. I don't think he should be leading anything. That wasn't very nice someone standing here to talk to. Hi. Marshall. <gasps> Captain Greta. You must be junior researcher Clara. I'm Captain Greta of the ES Intrepid. We've heard great things about you from the Academy. I'm looking forward to having you aboard. Are you ready to leave Lindau? <gasps> Not yet. No. You'd best prepare yourself. We'll be boarding shortly. The bell will sound soon. Okay. I wanted to go up here. I want to look at all this stuff and make sure there's nothing I'm missing. So pretty. Gosh, I love this. Those seagulls are great too. Love hearing them. So we can go see what they're building, I guess. I can't talk to the workers. I can't get over there. I, bet, I doubt it. Nope. Okay. They're hard at work. There's someone over here playing ball or something. You can play too if you want. Okay. What's the point of this? How do I throw this? Oh! You hit A. Did you throw it? Okay. 
I want to try it again, but I see something here. What is this? <gasps> oh, it's a timer. Where's the ball? Do you have the ball? Here's the ball. What do I do? Am I supposed to just hit it off of that? <gasps> I got a point. Two points. Well, that's good. I don't know if I can do it three times in a row. Three. Four. I'm about out of time, aren't I? Oh, I missed. Four points. Nice one. Well, that's kind of cool. You got some, but I bet you could do more if you tried. I could try again. Let me turn this over. Let's try this again. I don't think I'm going to get more than four, though. It takes a while to line up the shot. No? Was it because I was over the line? That could be. There's two. Oh, I missed. Three. I think four is going to be it again. Whoa! Nope. Three points. Oh, well. That doesn't count. Too close. Yeah, I think I was over the line. Okay. Well, thanks for playing with me. I guess I'm going to go now. Or I'd probably stand there and play that all day. Wow. What a beautiful view. So I wonder if I can walk down the boat. I'm going to do that. <gasps> That's the bell. Well then that means it's time to go, doesn't it? Let's we'll see how far I can get. What a pretty boat. It looks like the one that was at the house. Can I talk to you? Nope. Just pointed. Okay. Oh, it's time to go. Wow, that was such a beautiful game. I really liked that. Such a pretty little story. It was sad and happy all at the same time. Gorgeous game. I really liked that. If E-Shade is anything like this, it'll be wonderful. So I highly recommend that you play this game. Even if you have already played East Shade, I'd say go back and play this again. It's only about 48 minutes long. It didn't take very long to finish it at all, but it was well worth it. I enjoyed it. It is available on Steam. Again, the name of the game is Leaving Lindau. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope that you liked this game. If you did, please leave me a comment and don't forget to like. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! I have a Patreon page. If you like my videos and want to help support my work, consider becoming one of my patrons on Patreon. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.